Hey, it's Natalie with the Thinking Stuff Academy. Welcome to our first blog of 2024. Wow, it is a new year. And for a lot of people, it's time to make new decisions, uh, make some changes, commit to some goals, set up objectives for the year. Um, last week, I mentioned that we must first, before we set up new goals, take a step back and have a look at which goals we have achieved in the past year and do a have done list. Put yourself in on a pedestal and celebrate yourself, congratulate yourself for all the wins that you had during the year, all the learnings that you had, all the challenges, everything that happened, what did you learn from there, from them so then you can step up and move forward um, in your new year check all the boxes that were checked and the boxes that were not so that that gives you a base for do you want to put that on your new list for this year um, or not now as we're setting up goals we always start with dreams right um, and and you might have uh, thought it was interesting coming from me the title of my blog about uh, how we can never realize our dreams and that's okay. What I meant with this is I'm bringing you back to Socrates. So Socrates brought us uh, many different philosophic uh, thoughts and inspired science to look into uh, the way of creating beliefs and uh, how, how the world uh, could be explained and potentially even controlled. So the the theory that I'm bringing forward today is the theory of uh, the world being made of two different things, of, of a vitalistic um, component, which is more of a spiritual, spiritual component that we create things in our mind and with our brain and a materialistic component, a physical component to what things are. Um, and when we are dreaming of something, let's say you are thinking of an, an apple, you more likely in your head have the image of a perfect apple. But when you go to the produce department and you look at all the apples, there is no such thing as a perfect apple. You can visualize a perfect circle in your head and then you take a pen and you try to recreate this perfect circle and it, it's not easy unless you have instruments unless you use potentially a computer to design it to um to to perform your idea that you had in your head so when i'm mentioning that we are not able to recreate our dreams is because the world is made of that dream component, but also that physical material component, which which is not easy to be recreated. Um, if, if it was possible, everything would be perfect, right? Nobody would have cellulite. <laughs> Nobody would have lack of confidence. Nobody would, would have any imperfection. We would ha all have perfect skin. Um, we would be able to go in the sun and not burn. Uh, like if, if everything could be perfect the same way that it is in our head, um, life would also be boring, right? We would be looking through life with these pink glasses and, and everything would be even, equal. Everybody would have the same uh, perfection in their reality. So when you are setting up your goals, when you are setting up your year, and January is a good time to do that, yes, use your vitalistic component, use your dreams, you, use your mind, and dream big, which is great. And understand that when you transpose that into the real world, into its real materialistic component, that you want to accept right a way that it's not going to be perfect and that's okay your vitalistic component is just a a guide it's a road map it's a way to aspire to and then when you transpose it into something that is more materialistic 
potentially that it's not going to be the exact same way you dreamt it and that's fine because there will be everybody else's dreams that will be in impacting yours let's say you're applying for this promotion and you have this vision of you at the top of this firm or uh, with this company or building your own business and having employees and staff or among among a success which is great to dream that now everybody else in your team all your clients all the people that are going to be part of your vision also have their own vision which will alter the dream that you had in first place and potentially for the better things are not exactly how we will dream them and that's fine when you look at all your dreams from last year um you may have started some and it deferred it 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 went into a different direction and that's fine because things are moving things are progressing and things are never as perfect as they are in our mind so continue to dream continue to to use the vitalistic component your spiritual your your dreaming senses and accept that it will not be perfect and that's perfectly fine